Hello and welcome to the COM150 video guide to finding and evaluating sources. A crucial factor in writing a speech is the research process. The best place to start researching is an internet search engine such as Google, but you may also find information at the CSULA library as well as their website. Before we discuss in detail areas of Google that you can search, I should point out that Wikipedia is a good place to start. Although you won't want to cite their information, you can definitely use the information that you find on Wikipedia to find key sources or get a little background information on the topic you have selected for your speech. As you've discussed in class, websites are usually uncredible and therefore unusable in your speech. So instead of showing you how to use Google's main search engine, which you probably know how to use anyway, I will instead show you how to use Google News, which you can see on the screen now, and Google Scholar, which I will discuss shortly. The Google News search engine works like any other search engine, so we won't need to spend time discussing how to use it. However, you may not be familiar with how to find the search engine. To do so, simply go to Google and click on the News button, which you can find here. You can also modify how far back you would like to search. If you want to find information from a specific paper, simply type in the name of the paper with your keyword search. Remember, sources that will enhance the speech include newspapers and news magazines. As a general rule, news articles are preferred over websites. The internet is an unmonitored venue in which there is no guarantee that the information is valid. Now that we've talked about Google News, let's talk about Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a modified search engine that allows you to search through academic journals. Academic journals provide readers with incredible research that is peer-reviewed and restricted to a field of study, so it should benefit you for the speeches that you're researching. To find Google Scholar, simply Google Google Scholar. You can also find Google Scholar by clicking on more. However, I find that simply Googling Google Scholar is much easier. While Google can be a great resource for researching your speech, it also has its problems. Because Google is so widely used, you may run into the problem of having too much information to sift through or information that isn't specific enough to what your topic is. So for that, let's take a look at the CSULA library. The CSULA library website is an amazing source of information. However, you should use their tutorial to familiarize yourself with the site. Trying to cover all the tools in this video would simply take too much time. Regardless, let me point out a few resources that can definitely help you out. First, click on Articles. You should now find yourself at the Article and Reference Databases page. Here, you can choose databases by subject, or you could set limitations. And then finally, if you choose, you can go ahead and get the complete databases list. Let's go ahead and click on the Get Databases List icon. As you can see from the database list, there are numerous databases that you can search. However, I want to point out three that I think can immediately help you with the research that you'll need to do for your speech. The first is Academic Search Premier. As you can see, it's a multi-subject database that contains journals and magazines. The second database that I think will help you is known as JSTOR. Within JSTOR, you can find over 15,000 journal articles. Again, journal articles are a great source for research. The last database you will want to search is LexisNexis Academic. Here, you will be able to find news articles like you would with Google News. However, LexisNexis has a better refinement tool to help you find specific information. A quality speech must be supported by extensive research. You cannot expect to read one magazine article and write a quality speech. You will need to plan on spending some time in the library or online before you even begin to write your speech. When researching a speech, it is important to obtain the highest quality sources available. Utilization of quality sources enhances the credibility of the speaker and the speech. Additionally, you will want to use relevant sources such as academic publications that focus primarily on your topic area. The research hierarchy looks like this. Academic journals 
provide readers with credible research that is peer-reviewed and restricted to a field of study. Personal interviews with individuals who are experts in the area of your topic also add credibility. After academic publications, you should use what can best be described as high-quality sources. These are sources from a variety of materials, including periodicals, newspapers, broadcast media, and government documents, which are generally considered to be highly credible. Examples, the Washington Post, the New York Times, The Economist, and NPR. Local news and mass market magazines include smaller press newspapers such as the Denver Rocky Mountain News, mass market magazines such as Time and Newsweek, and newswires such as the Associated Press. These sources should only be used if the information contained in them cannot be found anywhere else. You may have noticed that websites and books should be considered carefully. Websites may be credible and therefore usable, however, it's not always easy to tell which websites are which. If you have to use a website, try to stick to websites that end in .gov or .edu. These websites are from governments and educational institutions and so they are generally considered to have credibility. Books should be avoided as well, but for an entirely different reason. Books are often too old, and so the information in them may be outdated. You can still use books, just consider them carefully. This concludes the COM 150 Guide to Finding and Evaluating Sources. Although we have covered a lot, you can still learn more. Great detectives practice their sleuthing skills and you will need to as well. Take time outside of class to practice using the available tools we discussed. If you do, you'll find that your research for future projects will go a lot quicker.